We have breaking news on the federal civil case involving Terrence Shannon Jr. The official ruling from the court just came down within the hour, granting his temporary restraining order. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. Jennifer's off tonight. It's a story we've been reporting on for weeks. This part is separate from what we told you yesterday with this criminal case unfolding in Kansas. Back in December, the Star Line basketball player was suspended from all team activities after being charged with rape. WCI 3's Andy Olson live in our newsroom. Andy, what does this mean for Shannon moving forward? Well, Brandon, in a nutshell, the suspension is lifted. Shannon can return to playing basketball. In the court documents, federal judge Colleen Lawless says, quote, while the court recognizes the strong interest the university has in acting pursuant to its policies, the court concludes that the irreparable harm to the plaintiff by application of the DIA policy outweighs the harm to Illinois. The judge goes on to say Shannon has, quote, demonstrated that he has an adequate legal remedies and will suffer irreparable harm. In a statement to WCIA, his legal team says, quote, TJ is grateful for today's ruling and looking forward to playing for the Illini again. Just in as well, the university has issued their own statement, quote, effective immediately. Terrence Shannon Jr. has been reinstated to full status as a university student athlete and will be available for basketball practice and competition. We will continue to review the court order and monitor the case. We have a full statement from that legal team on our website, WCIA.com. Our news team is continuing to break down the 38-page document and will have continued coverage tonight at 6. That includes the impacts the judge feels that this suspension has had on Shannon's name, image, and likeness deals. we got more on that coming up. Brandon, we'll send it back to you. All right, Andy, thank you.